It is the fourth day of May 2018. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Rathina Sajay. In this bulletin, we look at stories making headlines across the country. We kick start of today's bulletin from Busia District. Kenyan security forces at the Busia border confiscated three guns from Ugandan policemen on Wednesday. The seized weapons are two AK-47 rifles and a pistol. Sowali Kumulia, the, Buked, the Bukedi region police spokesperson, said five officers from Ginger Road Police Station, led by Edwin Wamanya, entered Kenya for an operation. The officers were detained in Kenya before the Uganda police leaders appeal, pleaded with their Kenyan counterparts to release them. Kamulia, however, say the Kenyan security officers refused to hand over the guns. Kamula say the officers reported their presence to Busia police station in Uganda at 8.45 p.m. but declined to say where they were going to conduct the operations. As if they needed reinforcement, the officers said they did not. Kamulia said hours later, the Busia district police commander received information that they had been arrested and disarmed in Kenya. Kamulia said the officers crossed into Kenya and started chasing suspected Kathibs. Moving on to Palisa district campaigns for the NRM woman member of parliament flag bearer for, Bus for Palisa district by elections are in Nigeria as three women converse for support in the 14 sub counties of the district. On day two of our joint campaign at Chivalu Primary School on Tuesday, Josephine Ibasereti, Faith Alupo, and Kevin Kala Ojinga pleaded with voters for support. The NRM primary elections for Palisa woman MP and Butembo district chairperson flag bearer have been scheduled for May 11, 2018. Makarias Okou, a voter from Omatakojo village in Chivali sub county, challenged Alupo to explain why she was working with the likes of Jacobo Polot, the Palisa county MP, who opposed the remaining of Chivali in Palisa district. In response, Alupo knelt down and said she had never met Opolot and asked for evidence proving that she fought against the, re the retention of Chibale by Palisa district. Before we move on to other stories making headlines across the country, let us look at what is making headlines today in your copy of the New Vision. The headlining story is Lund's minister drugged to land probe. Also in the New Vision, woman among Magara kidnappers. More headlines on in the New Vision, how farmers can benefit the fall um, worm can beat sorry how farmers can beat the fall worm. Uh, cases are shocking on court cases. Um, in the new vision, do not use force. Museven tells the South Sudan leaders. Press freedom, Uganda drops five drops five positions. That is a story you should read from your copy of the new vision. It is right here in detail. Minister cautions MPs on eating habits. Yeah, we have that story there. In our Miss Masiko nominated for a Kundid Woman MP. The story is also right here in your copy of the New Vision. Uh, moving on uh, to what is making headlines today. We have the uh, the Friday pullout is harvest money and we have the headline which says mixed farming. Robert Kamasaka shares his successful farm tips. The story is right here. Fall Amewam is back. We have the story here and how you can beat this pest. How Botswana defeated foot and mouth disease. That is a story you should grab from the Harvest Money pullout. Moving on, the beat is also our Friday offering and we have a beautiful lady here, Sandra Suvi, juggling two acts. We have a story here in detail. Please grab your copy of the New Vision today. And enjoy. We have Suvi's former group Zabu. Okay, very interesting stories in the bit that you would love to read about. Um, out and about where you should spend your weekend, and also very interesting cuisines. These are all the stories that are right here in your copy of the New Vision. The sports docket. Now, uh, on course, uh, a three hour, two kilometer road trek amid a heavy downpour climaxed over recent inspection of the Kipritish National High Altitude Training Center in Terriet, Kip Kaptura District last Friday. 
Okay, that is the story. You should uh, get in today's uh, sports docket. Uh, guest touch is a headline there. Roma furious with referee. That is a story you should get from the sports docket. Miracle in Malaysia. The copy of the new vision is only 2,000 shillings and we are proudly the leading daily. From the leading daily, we go to the leading Friday, which is the Kampala Sun. Kampala Sun has an interesting headline here. We have nudes, Pemba faces 10 years in jail. Yeah, we all saw what was happening. Some of you have not seen, some of us saw what was happening with uh, Pemba. You should read the, the Kampala Sun to get this story in detail. Uh, Pemba's uh, picture is right here on the front page and also the lady uh, that uh, was in the video. Uh, Salvador sued over rent. Uh, Nabeta Mwiru Bato Ginger. Mutasa Kafiru's daughter replaces elderly elder husband. Interesting stories you can get from your copy of the Kampala Sun. The curious case of Desire Luzinda. That is someone you should read about in the Kampala Sun. Um, I hate my father, Douglas Sebamala. Mm. It's quite uh, rare to see someone who hates their father. But uh, Kampala Sun has the story here for you and the person who really hates their father. Mm. More in the Kampala Sun, a celebrity death match is between Paul Mwiru and Nathan Nabeta. Who won the death match? The details are in your copy of the Kampala Sun. More of what happened during the week and where, you know, pe women slayed from. <laughs> that is, those are, there are so many stories that you should, you should find interesting stories, by the way. Yeah, Kampala San, Kampala San, leave he got smell for he got. Mm -hmm. That is something you should know. Okay, so many stories and interesting pictures in the Kampala San. So grab your copy at only, let me even see, only 1,000 shillings. Away from what is making headlines in today's dailies, and uh, let's continue with what is making headlines across the country. Move on to Oyam district as the police satisfies the hunt of a woman who allegedly killed a co wife and buried her body in a shallow grave in her backyard. The two clans of the husband and the deceased have agreed to ask for compensation from the suspect's clan. The body of Francesca Angoma, 36 years, was on Monday discovered by her husband, Janan Oyuku, in a shallow grave in Christine, a Chinese backyard. The incident happened at Awangibi village. Uh, Isseme sub-county in Oyam district. Angomo had been married to Oyuko for 18 years and they had six children. A son, 26 years, a mother of two, had a misunderstanding with Oyuko and clan members and had resolved that, they sh that she should be taken back uh, to her home for disciplinary actions. She was supposed to be taken to her home in Anguta Dokori district on Sunday. A child purportedly told police that he saw a chain barring something in her backyard and when asked, she said she was barring a goat. Finally, from Kampala, Kampala Resident City Commission RCC Sarah Bananuka has criticized the judiciary for considering murder suspects for police bargaining. The RCC said the offer was unjustified considering their grave offenses. Bananuka told Buganda Road Chief Magistrate James Eremi Mawanda that the system should be revised. The offense of murder attracts a maximum of a death penalty on conviction. Plea bargaining is a negotiated argument between the prosecution and a criminal defendant where a latter agrees to plead guilty to a charge in return for some concession from the prosecutor. In May 2013, the program was officially launched in the presence of the principal judge Yokoramu Bamwine and Inspector General of Government Justice Erin Mulia Gonja, mainly to decongest prisons. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website www.newvision.co.ug forward slash video. I am Rathi Nasajay.